In this presentation, we're going to look at KPIs for Microsoft Dynamics Sign AV created by Match Business Solutions. So we start with financial KPIs, go through the sales, see how, how we can filter them. We look at the concept of fixed dimensions, look at the unposted documents and see some other options to do reporting. So let's start with the financials KPIs. We have a few here, debt ratio, working capital, debt to equity. So we see how the figures is moving from one month to another. And we can choose some different ratios, some liquidity ratios, leverage, profitability. So let's change and put some, select some profitability ratios. We can change the period length. So here it's a quarter. And the from date and to date. So with some predefined or custom dates. So from 13 to the end of 14. We can change the chart type. And let's go back to the indicators. And instead of choosing some ratios, we're going to select the values. So in the same way, we can select some of them and see the trend on this ratio. How does it work? It's just a simple setup where we indicate some total accounts. So either a GL total account or an N total account. And we can put some default date. So that's all. Now let's have a look at sales, starting with the sales snapshot. So here we have the turnover and the margin for different kind of customers, large, medium and small. And if, if we expand the sales trend, we've got as well the turnover and margin for September and October. We could have just one measure. So let's, for the example now, keep only the turnover. We can change the period length here in weeks. Let's move back to the year. So in the year 3 million 300. And let's go back to two months. Now we can put the cells, the trend here by the customer, the dimension three. So medium customer, some in September, in October, and large customer only in October and small customer only in October. We can drill down. October date is all the information about the turnover, margin, customer items. We found our eight dimensions, shortcut dimensions, and other fields like responsibility center, salesperson, and other fields that we're going to discuss further. It's possible to navigate and go to the source document. So all the data is maintained in this sales fact table where we can navigate from and we can drill down. So total figures and we can drill down all the time to the sales facts tables and to the documents. Let's do a few more things. Change the chart type
So let's go back to the column. In the same way here we can change the date from and to. These dates from and to can be defined by default. The cell strength works in the same way exactly. Now let's get different views so we can have them by any kind of the first eight dimensions. Let's see by locations. We could do it by item, customer, resource, responsibility center. So snapshot or trend works in the same way, same options. By GL account. Mm -hmm. Salesperson. Now we're going to refine that to filter our our view. So so far we see the total result for the, the company. It was three million something, but we can filter that user by user per location, di dimensions, salesperson, responsibility center. And we can indicate more than one each time. So for the example, I just put one salesperson filter on my user. So I need to close and reopen for the first time. So now it's set up and I just see the result for my salesperson. So any kind of filtering, any kind of uh, view, that we saw before will be filtered just for my salesperson. And we can do that again with our responsibility center, locations, or any of the first four dimensions. So now my data, my sales data, is only showing the Canberra Responsibility Center. Everything, all the results are filtered for this Responsibility Center. Let's look at the concept of fixed dimensions now. So that's something that does not exist in standard nav and it's like a fixed field or fixed attribute of a master data. So if we look so far, we've been using the dimension 3, which is about the customer. And we can see these fixed dimensions in other places, locations, item, customer, resource, which are different for the nav dimensions. So the nav dimensions, if we go to the general ledger setup, we see the first eight, so we can have as many dimensions in in a nav, and the first eight as are referred. So we walked out of the box with the eight nav standard dimensions. But on top of it, we add some fixed dimensions. So for the customer, for example. If we go to a customer, for a particular customer, let's open the card. And so far, nav has a dimension, standard dimension, to say if it's a large, a small, or a middle customer. Whereas these fixed dimensions are like a field. So let's look at the standard dimensions. Okay, customer is large. And the way it works is on 
every entries, so here ledger entries, this is recorded. So this customer is large for this particular dimension. And so, uh, where, whereas probably this customer would be large for any kind of a transaction. That what why we have a concept of fixed dimension, like a field, simple field. So three simple fields attached to the customer. We can define the name and make some grouping. So one field could have a group. Same for the items, resource, vendor, job, location. And now we can also report on that. So let's see, for example, item fixed dimensions. One, the second, by now the customer we saw before or we can say if it's a retail or, or a wholesale customer or is it administration legal firms so when we drill down to the fact the sales facts table We'll see not only the eight standard nav dimensions, but also the fixed dimensions. So the customer fixed dimensions, three, with three groups also. Item. And to update, it is much easier because we do not keep track for each transaction we can change whenever we want and indicate what is this fixed dimension for what is this subgroup for this customer I haven't done it from, from day one already had some transaction in but still fine I can say what it is now And I'll do it from this uh, in a list of list f uh, form much quicker. So here we have a refresh just for performance uh, consideration, and that's updated every night. Else, and now if I want to reanalyze it by retail, wholesale, or administration legal firms I get the result right away now let's look at unposted documents so far we've looked at GL and invoiced but there are some more data into nav that are not posted like the backlog ship not invoice the pipeline and we can have the detail and drill down so here for the pipeline, what we've done, if we get the still on the sales fact table, we can navigate, so we'll go to the sales quote. And what we've done is that we've put a percentage of, su of success on the quote, to put a dollar value. And this is updated every night or just as a push of a button. We have added also a couple of extra ways to do some reporting like some charts, top items, top customer, the stock value by different uh, ways. And using the self fact table on Excel with Power Pivot with the new OData web service Everything is in, is in the same table, so it makes the uh, analysis and the way to report on Power Pivot. So it's like uh, a powerful Excel mini cube. So very very easily.